So hypnotherapy can help somebody who is having to go into a highly stressful situation such as mediation um, or court or, or having to deal with um, solicitors or, or any of those people that if they are feeling really stressed, if they're feeling really anxious about it, then quite often they worry that they're going to say the wrong thing or that they're not going to ask the right questions. Um, how hypnotherapy can help that is by either dealing with the fears and the worries that are in the programs or um, for me to teach people some really simple techniques that would help their anxiety go down in a, in a natural way. So there are loads of ways that, that we can actually take our own stress levels down and I actually teach people a lot that a lot. I teach a lot of people how to take their own anxiety levels down because then they feel in control. Then they are in control of their stress levels and if they're in control then that in itself causes less anxiety. So as far as how hypnotherapy can help somebody who's going through a really stressful separation and if they are having to get other people involved for legal reasons, financial, whatever then um, certainly all of that is a lot easier when you're not anxious and all of that is a lot easier when you're not highly stressed and I should imagine it's probably easier for the solicitors as well because they haven't got to deal with highly anxious clients which I believe would make things a lot easier if somebody was slightly less anxious when you were talking to them. Advice I'd give to somebody um, if they were talking to me and they were going through a separation, one is to understand that a lot of the feelings you're feeling aren't coming from just this situation now, it's a culmination of experiences. So quite often when you feel emotional, when you feel quite irrational, just to understand that that's coming from an awful lot of other situations and so you've got everything all gathered in together and that's what makes you so angry that's that what that's what makes you so fearful so one of the things that I'd suggest that people do if they're wanting to take their anxiety down and they're wanting to take their stress levels down is to understand that they don't have to stay in that stress state they don't have to go through this separation feeling this way that there are loads of things out there that, that they can do to help. One is to get themselves to a hypnotherapist. That's a brilliant thing to do. Um, another thing is to, um, to go online and, and maybe find their own ways of relaxation. The body only needs maybe 20-30 minutes a day of total downtime to start to really heal itself. And when the body starts to heal itself, then the mind is a lot less stressed as well and therefore it's a lot easier to think rationally and to, to make good decisions about what you're going to do with your future. So that's the advice I'd give somebody. Find ways either through a hypnotherapist or go on YouTube or, or find something online if you want to or a self-help book. Some way, there are loads of different ways that you can take that relaxation down but I know it helps, I know it can create a completely different scenario simply by how we feel.